What's going on guys? This is Mike and the first thing you're gonna tell me is that this is going up on a Wednesday and I'm well aware of this. Obviously I know what day of the week it is. I've been extremely busy and to be honest with you, I didn't have enough time to play and get an amazing gameplay. So I got lucky enough today to be browsing through all my documents and I happened to find this old game on Black Ops with the Spaz 12 and I decided you know what I've been waiting to use this for like well over a year probably and I decided you know what what better time to whip it out than right now so fair warning uh, this game is pretty much all defending and slaying I don't even think I even stepped on an objective this entire game. I didn't even capture the spawn objective. And really, there's nothing more to say about this game other than these guys not only sucked ass, but I raped them. <laughs> I, I mean, serious, I really don't know what to say. These guys were just flat out awful and. It's not like I remember, well I do remember playing this game just because of how well I did. It was one of those like special moments where no matter whatever it is you're doing, when you play a game, whether it's a video game or a sport or whatever, when you have that one, that one really like standout game, the one standout time where you're just like, wow, I did, I did work and I do remember this game because of that reason, so. Honestly, it's probably this is probably the second best game that I've ever had, next to the one that I uploaded last week, just because the KD ratio was higher in last week's. But I do get more kills in this one, but I'm not going to tell you how many. I mean, I might throw it in the video title, so me saying that as a teaser might not prove to be anything. But anyway, uh, so yeah. Last week was Nuketown 2025, and other than the aesthetics of the map, they're really... To play the map, it, it's no different. The only thing I can tell you that I didn't tell you last week is that you really need to be aware of what you're doing on this map. I actually think I might have said that, but one, the one thing that I didn't, like, eva evaluate... No, that's not what I'm looking for. Whatever. That I didn't get into more detail on was that... You should probably, uh, not probably, what am I, what the fuck am I saying? You should definitely, when you're playing on this map, or any map really, but especially this one just because it's so small, you really need to keep a close Dogs eye on, on your mini map. Because Dogs when you are on one side of the map, and your team is completely on the other side of the map, and especially if there's no action going on in the kill feed, no one's killing anybody, then you could probably expect the enemies are probably right on top of you and they're about to kill your ass because you are completely unaware that they are there and they are going to outnumber you. I can tell you that that's 9 out of 10 times that is what's going to happen. And it's happened to me a couple times in this game. Like right at the uh, right at the very beginning, I got that very first kill with the spaz and I sat there and reloaded like 6 bullets with my back turned and I didn't turn around because I thought, oh, well, my team's kinda over there. I mean, they're pushed back farther, but they're not, they're not, like, far away from that area, so I should probably watch the other way, and my back will be fine, and you should never assume that. Unless your entire team is literally right behind you. Actually, even when your entire team is right behind you. I just noticed there was a guy right next to me on the boss, next to the boss, and I'm not sure if he was a teammate or not. I should have been paying attention to my minimap, I would have known. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, I really, jeez, Jesus Christ, I'm really lost for words here because to sit here and, you know, to tell a story or something like that, that's, that's easy to bang out in, like, seven minutes or so. Sometimes you need more than seven minutes to tell a story, but to just do a breakdown on your game, sometimes it's just, sometimes it's not so easy because you just can't fill, you just can't fill up however long it is to... You can't fill up however long it is with advice and whatnot because there's really not too much to tell. I mean, the bases of this game are don't run around like a chicken with your head cut off, don't camp in the fucking same corner the entire game, and all the while, kill people. And, uh, 
One one thing that I that I can say that I don't think I ever said was, oh, watch this. This is nice. Oh, fucking oh, oh, and then I dodged this guy. I don't know where the hell he went. Fucking, he fucking disappeared. And oh, oh this is nice too, right? Ooh, get, get what are you doing? Get smack. Oh, this is beautiful, right? You pick up the M60. I go on a tear here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it happen. Oh, there's another headshot. Oh, no one in the backyard. Oh, new guy with ghost with an RPG in the doorway. Oh, no, there's a guy behind me the blister knife. Bravo. Guy behind me again? I, I honestly don't know if I knew he was there at the time, but anyway, he comes down the stairs and then, ooh, what are you doing, stupid? Get your shit on. And, uh, I don't know if I get any more kills with this M60 or not, but I know I get killed by some camper McFaggot up there. I was like, fuck it, he's not coming back. They're all coming out the other way. And ready, right here. Not paying attention to the minimap. He's up top. And honestly, even if I had been watching, I probably wouldn't have lived, but at least I would have known that my death was coming rather than saying, fuck me, I just got killed on like a 20 kill streak by some camping faggot in the building because he's going like 5 and 40 or whatever it is in this lobby because me and my boy James were just going, were just going off on these guys. He had a pretty good game this game too, get to see, get to see us on the scoreboard at the end, but uh, yeah, honestly guys, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm just so lost for words. I'm just letting this thing roll, and whenever something happens that it's worth pointing out something about it, like right there when I fail with that tomahawk, like I have been the whole game, then uh, <laughs> I'll make a comment on it. But I really don't know what else to say other than this golden spaz is sexy. It rapes noobs like that. That fucking kid got shit on. That guy did not because he was way too far away. And from this point out, this game and this game, they're all they're all quitting. They they've had enough. The split screeners are gone. You know it's bad with the split screeners dashboard. And it's just us sitting here with all three flags. They're not. They don't have a chance to capture any of them. And right here, the game is over. 202 to 104. Final score. My final KD. E seven and five. Not a single capture. A ten defense. And let me remind you that you can only get defense in Black Ops One with your gun. So they were not all with the chopper gun or whatnot. So that being said, I hope this commentary wasn't as crappy as I think it might be. But fuck it, I don't do scripts because you know you got to be natural when you do these types of things. So anyway, next week. Uh, I do have a backup gameplay in case I don't get one on Black Ops 2 in the next six or seven days. And... I lost my train of thought and couldn't recover quick enough because I'm an idiot. That's all for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed.